Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today. The real reason Filipinos prefer older foreign men over younger foreign men may surprise you. I just want to talk a little bit about that today. I know you think this is a no-brainer why Filipinos would prefer an older foreign man versus a younger foreign man, but it's really not. You're going to say, oh, of course, the money, you know, the pension, the 4M. You know, he's quicker to die, and that way she can get everything. Or he's more responsible. Yeah, all that goes in to her selection, but the real reason that Filipinos prefer older foreign men is because Filipinos do not like long-distance relationships. They want a man who's retired, who can come over here and stay with them, who doesn't have to leave. And I know this may come as a shock to you because you think it's all about money, which at the end of the day it is. But this plays into the, the picture because I'm going to tell you something. There's a stigma that's attached to Filipinos who deal with foreigners. You may not have known that, or you may have. So it's better that you're here with her all the time, or you get her out of here and into your home country as soon as possible. And you say, well, Calvin, where'd you get all this from? Well, you know, I'm boots on the ground. I talked to women. I had a young lady by the name of Sess. Well, she's got a channel called Sess Travel Vlogs. And she was on my panel one time, and we were asking her, you know, why the Philippines, you know, like to date old men? And she just came straight out. She said, because they can stay here with us. We don't like long-distance relationships. We want somebody who doesn't run back and forth. See, you guys think that these long-distance relationships only hard on you, but it's not as hard on them. They don't want it because remember you leave them behind. Now they got to deal with the stigma. They got to deal with the teasing and all of that associated with dealing with a foreigner. You say, Calvin, you're crazy. No, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Okay. When Merlin was pregnant with Booby. Now, even though me and Merlin had been together every single day for a whole year, we lived together. We had an apartment together and everything. And I got locked down in Zamboanga. Don't you know that was the big rumor going around the neighborhood? I left her and, you know, I'm never coming back. And they have to deal with that kind of stuff on a daily basis, man. It's a stigma if you don't believe it. See, once they cross that line and start dealing with foreigners, a label's attached to them. Now they're liberated. Okay, they sold out. Because most Filipinos don't deal with us. Okay. So yeah. The number one reason. They prefer an older foreign man. Over a younger foreign man. Is because they don't like long distance relationships. That's number one. You may have heard other things. Well you know young men. They want to have sex all the time. And you know they're chicks boys. And you know, they're not faithful and all that. But that's really not the case. If the young man is going to come over here take care of his business and get her back to the United States or wherever as soon as possible. She may deal with them, but at the end of the day, it's older foreign men. And then you throw all that other stuff behind there. The pension, the being responsible, you know, not able to have sex all the time. See, you know, they get a break. They get it easy. They got it easy most of the time. But I just wanted to bring that up because remember, I got a lot of new viewers. I've got a lot of people who are just discovering me, believe it or not, after three years. But I wanted to throw that out there because a lot of young guys think that just because they're younger, that the Filipino would take them over an older man. You know, you've got a lot more years ahead of you, but you couldn't be further from the truth, guys. Those long distance relationships are a beast. On you and on her, but especially her, because not only is she missing you, but now she's got to deal with that stigma left behind. So she wants you here with her 100% of the time or 
get her out of here as fast as you can and by her side. But something else I wanted to talk about, and a lot of people have talked about this before, but I just want to give you my spin on it. The most neglected women in in the Philippines by foreigners are women age 40 and over. You know, my buddy just left her AB. And, uh, you know, it's what we were talking about. He's in his 60s. And he said, you know, Calvin, I don't want a younger woman. You know, he said, I want somebody, you know, more responsible, right? And so I said, well, I'm going to show you something. So we were coming back from the grocery store. And it was just woman after woman after woman was 40 plus uh, by herself. And I said, the reason that is because most of the men come over here, they want the younger woman. It's a novelty. You know, it's something that it's a fantasy. It's something that they know they could never have at home. And, you know, so they go for that. So they leave these women 40 and over alone. They basically ignore them. And I'm not talking about 36, 38, 39. I'm talking about 40 years old and up. And we saw example after example after example. And he started meeting women here. We met a lady in the tricycle yesterday. Was 40 plus. Her son, her oldest son was 30. Her youngest son was 22. See, that's another reason. Uh, if guys don't want to deal with these younger women. Why it's not a bad thing to deal with an older woman over here. Because her children are already grown. Or they're self-supporting. So it's almost like. Dating a woman without children. But yeah, they're very neglected. But you see them over here and there's some stunners. And remember, I met Marilyn when she was 36. She wasn't 40. Okay. So I'm not including Marilyn, even though she's 41 now. If you're really looking for a decent woman over here who's responsible, who you don't have to worry about playing a lot of games Because these young women play games over here, guys, okay? You look at these women 40 and over, you know, depending on how old you are. You know, I'm not telling you what your preferences are. I'm just telling you that these women are neglected. I mean, in a big way. I mean, if you only knew the women over here who asked me time and time again to do an interview, they're all 40 and over. When I do that, Uh, Are you smarter than a grade five student? A lot of the women that you don't see on camera, they're 40 and over. Do you got friends? You got anybody you can introduce me to? I mean, they're really being ignored because we want the younger women. And it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're 60, 65, 70, you want the 20, 25, 30 year old woman. It's a novelty. It's a fantasy. It's something that you know you could never have in your wildest dreams at home. But over here, you could have it. So you say, I want what I've never had before. I want want a 22-year-old because I haven't had a 22-year-old since I was 22. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I wanted to make this video. We're headed down to Sikihor and... I've got a suitcase I've got to give back to my friend, man. I I want to apologize to him, too. I hadn't bought it back. Whether he needs it or not, it's his. And we're going to take that to Sikki Hall, and we're going to spend a couple of days on the beach, reminisce with some old friends, and just relax for a couple of days and come on back. So if you're in America, you're about to get up, go to the gym, go to school, go to work, Go get a cup of coffee. Wherever you're going, if you see somebody out there in the street that needs help, help them if it doesn't put your life in jeopardy. If you're in the Philippines, I guess it's about 4.30 p.m. on a beautiful Monday afternoon. It's not a day goes by, I don't help somebody. Go on my Sunshine Show's Facebook page. That's where all you'll see all of that. The lady showed up today who won last night. I mean, the the spin wheel knows who to choose. I don't. 
it help it knows who to help one hundred percent of the time. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves, take care, stay safe, stay out of trouble. I'll see y'all next time.